I think it could have been a lot worse. I fancy I think we could beat Bolton and I think we could beat Preston. I think Fulham could be a little bit tricky, but like say, new manager, might have a new team. We could be a better team than we were last year, but I have to see how it goes. But I've, like I said, the first five games, with Sunderland and Forest after them, I think we've got a, a decent start. It's the Fulham game I think is a bit tricky. It's not a bad start on paper. I think uh, you look at that and you're probably looking at maybe nine points, ten points out of them. It's the uh, running that uh, worries me. It's a really, really tough running. Bolton, well, they, well, they won in division last year. They've come up, so that could be. You, you, you just don't know what they're going to be like, do you? You know what I mean? But but the written miss for up and down all the time. They're like a jack in the box, aren't they? We can't wait for him. <laughs> we wish him luck and for our new head coach. All the best for him. I could not understand why he left, but but I think, like anything else in football these days, it's all got to be down to money. <laughs> and, I, I, and I think it's wrong. I think he did a good job at, at Leeds. And I, I can't say what sort of reception he's going to get when they come back to Ellen Road. <laughs> I think uh, it went a bit of stability, so you can't really blame him for going to Middlesbrough. We had the stability, they've got a better chance of promoted, money and everything. And not over our past record here, you can't blame him. Yeah, I'm a little bit upset he left, and, but yeah, I think he'll get not the best receptions. I think everyone was hoping a bit first home game at the season, do you know what I mean? Getting back, um, I know he's going to get a lot of abuse. Um, but I mean, I don't really know what's happened, um, what terms he's left on or what. No, I don't think anyone knows the full story, but um, it should be good like. And yeah, like I say, if we turn him over as well, he'll, be, he'll get some right abuse, I think. The same as any manager or player that comes to Leeds, I'll give him a chance to prove himself. He wasn't the big name that maybe some fans were looking for, or a name anyone was even looking for. I mean, to not be in the betting of 50 people, I've never known I've never known that before, so it came as quite a surprise to us all. But he's got some good credentials, he, he speaks well. Again, we'll see over the summer and we'll see when the season starts whether he's got what it takes to be to be a successful manager here. What I saw on the, on the, the press conference is uh, a little bit nervous, very nervous. <laughs> so... Like I say, you manager, we've got to get behind him, see how he goes, see how we, how we buy his. I think we need to keep the squad we've got now and add probably four or five decent players and see where we are. But like I say, we've got to get behind him and give him a chance. Everyone say no name head coach like David Wagner. Who knows? Look, looking forward with him. Wish him all the best and let's hope he will bring quality players with himself as well. So we'll see. He's been, he's been managing in Cyprus and I, sh and I should imagine the football out there would be quite different than, than what it is in the, in the championship. I think he'll find it tough, but I hope, I hope he does well. I don't think anyone knows a lot about him, but like people have been saying, um, you know, managers that are not known that can come and do a job in this, in this uh, league, you know. Um, just fingers crossed, hopefully he gets, you know, right right players behind him and he can do a good job, but I'm always positive anyway and I'll always be behind him, so that's it, MOT.